This is Master WordPress. In this presentation, I'm going to teach you how to embed video in a WordPress blog. Now this website here is the site that we set up for my daughter Mandy to keep people informed about her condition. Uh, she was born with special needs and uh, we needed a, an easy way to inform people. It's actually the first uh, self-hosted blog that I've done so I figured it would be a good choice and I actually need to embed a video in it so it was a good opportunity to get that done. Now first thing we need to do is to go to the back office of the blog and the way we do that is by going to the domain forward slash WP dash admin and that'll take us to the back to the back office of the blog or what they call the dashboard. Now you'll notice I'm running WordPress version 2.71 and so I'm going to come down here to under posts right here to add new. So we're going to click add new because we want to create a new post and I'm going to type my title which is Mandy's dedication on Easter Sunday. Okay now the next step is we need to paste in the text. Now what I like to do with the text is I actually like to go ahead and use uh, I, I usually write them in Word and then I'll paste it across. So what we're going to do I'm going to do a control A to select all, a control C to copy and I'm going to come back to my blog post and we're going to click on the visual side of things we're going to kind of come down to where it says paste plain paste as plain text I like this mode because when I use plain text it doesn't mess up with the formatting that usually comes in from Microsoft Word which usually which happens to me when I do paste from Word so now I pasted the text in and I'm going to go ahead and click insert now my text is in place now the next step is to go ahead and insert the blog itself or excuse me the video itself and we're gonna go ahead and click where we want that posted which in this case is between these two paragraphs now let's talk just a little bit about embedding video I prefer to host the videos on a video sharing site and the reason why is because videos take up a lot of space and they also eat up a lot of bandwidth and they're frankly kind of cumbersome to handle so the easiest way is to host them on another site and then direct it over to your blog and so that's what we're gonna do I have my videos on YouTube which I have open and another tab right here so we're going to go ahead and go to the videos and you'll notice that this is my the videos that I have online but the video that we're going to use is this one right here which is Mandy's dedication now we need to get to the code the embed code so we're going to click you can either click play or you can click the video itself let's click the video itself and the video will come up we're going to go ahead and stop it and over here on the right you'll see a URL which is a direction to this video page and the embed the embed is the one we want because we want it actually embedded into the into the blog post so we're gonna click that and you'll notice that this little window pops up and this actually opens it up when you click this button to customize you can actually come in here and you can click you can change some of the options so you can actually remove 
the related videos so it looks almost like you're self-hosting it. And you can change the colors of the screens. Um, in this particular case, because of the fact my blog is mostly with a white background, we're going to go ahead and just stick with the standard. But I am going to make the site or the video a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click that. And once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and click close. Now that code has been changed to reflect those changes. So we're going to do a control C to copy the code. And we're going to go back over to this other tab. We're going to make sure that we're on the HTML side because we want to do this in HTML. Otherwise, it could just embed the code and as text, and that's not what we want. We want it actually being treated as code. So we're going to go ahead and put the cursor where we want it, and it is right here between these two paragraphs. And we're going to do a control V to paste this code. And you'll notice that it pastes all the code uh, for the YouTube. And when you go when you go over to the visual, you'll see the box where the video was going to go. So you can actually see relatively where where it's going to go. Now once we're done with that, then the next step is to publish the video is to publish the blog post. So we're going to click publish. And right now I have a I'm I'm actually going to make this public so you can actually go to mandystory.com and you can actually see this video. So I'm going to publish it. And we're going to go to preview. And there's the video. So once you got the video posted, then you want to go ahead and check and make sure it's working okay. So we click that, and you'll notice that the video is loading. It's loading, it's running okay. So we're going to go ahead and close that off. And I hope this video has been helpful to you, this presentation. And uh, hopefully you'll utilize this in your marketing and it's a rather useful tool and the nice thing about YouTube video that I didn't mention is the fact that it's extremely viral when you post it on YouTube you get the effect of, of it being on YouTube as well as being on your blog so hopefully this is helpful and you have a great day